Okay, let's start with the good news and what this product actually is and what it can do. <laughs> There are a ton of weird requests you get as a tech YouTuber, and honestly, 90% of them aren't worth pursuing. Rocket was happy to sponsor this video, even though I told them, I'm gonna tell the audience the truth, no matter what, if you don't like it, we're not gonna do it. And they said, go on then. This is the Rocket AR Spatial Pack. It includes the Rocket Max 2 AR glasses and the Rocket Station 2, which is basically their compact Android-based console. Together, it creates a spatial computing setup for multitasking, entertainment, and gaming in AR. The Max 2 is lightweight at just 75 grams, has intelligent myopia and pupillary adjustment built in, so even if you've got contact lenses or prescription glasses, you can adjust it so that you don't have to wear glasses when wearing these. And is designed for a long, comfortable wear with soft temple arms and air cushioned nose pads. So what does it do? I'm just about to show you what I can see and how this works and give you actual experience of what you can expect. Firstly, you've got the glasses, okay? I've got two of them in here, one of them with silver and then one of them with black frame. The glasses fit on your face quite nicely. You've got nice rubbery sides in there and it very comfortably goes around. On the top here, these little knobs adjust the each lens. Then from the front, what you can see is there's a little bit of a see-through. Perhaps it's best to see it from the bottom in here. There's a see-through on the glass here where you can see outside. And then on the bottom, they've cut out and put a little bit more glass on the bottom in there, just so that you have a little bit more immersive feel to the actual surrounding environment. And then underneath there, if I pop this down, you can see these little projectors kind of things, or they will reflect on the glass. And then when you look at this way, you'll see the reflection and then the outside world. You have these very soft, nose cushions that are aired. I've got no issues about that. On the actual handles of the glasses, you can see these two here are the speakers on both sides. And then you've got kind of a power button and then volume up and down on these sides. And then on the left side in the end, you have a USB-C port in the end there. Now the glasses also come with this cover. So basically this is just a black cover that you can put over the glasses just clip it over like that. And then now you've got a better visibility of the screen, depending how you want to use them. Then you've got the Rocket Station 2. This is basically a little smartphone. Um, it's funny, it reminds me of the iPhone 3S. Remember that? Hello. Basically this top part over here, there's a little light on the bottom there. Um, all of this is just touchpad. So you can use it all the way around. I'll show you that in a minute. Whenever you move, you can navigate through your glasses with this. Then on this side, we've got volume up and down buttons. Then on the top, we have the power button. And then this is the battery indicator light. If I press the power button once, I can see the actual indicator. Then on the right side, we've got the menu and then home button. And then on the bottom, we've got the charging port and then the glasses port. If you use it with plugged in, when it's charging and when you're using it, it, the fan kicks in and then cools it down at the same time. In order to use it, you just connect it from the glasses to the back of the glasses and put the angle in the back of the glasses, pop them on, and then you look like Cody Banks. Now, the interesting thing is you don't actually need to use the Station 2 to actually see something. You can easily connect this to your smartphone or your laptop as long as it's got USB-C output. So I tried using it on my Mac and you can just plug it into my Mac and then I can see the screens here. These glasses basically appear as an extra screen. So you can either mirror the display or have extension onto these glasses. And then there is the Rocket Hub, which basically allows you to connect this to any of your USB-C devices and it just allows you to have the glasses and charge it at the same time. Now, the whole thing can actually fit into this case. Station 2 and the glasses, everything can be fit into this kind of a glasses case. Right now I'm recording the screen, so you should be able to see what I'm seeing as well. So basically what I can see right now is a three screen setup. I've got YouTube on one side, I've got the web on one side, and then I've got the Play Store on this side. And I can just kind of interact with all of them side by side. Look at YouTube, then type in. Now if I type into here, we say, hello, what's your price? for Rocket 
max two. There you go, uses Bing search. Now there's other cool things. If we go to the settings, obviously this is your personal setting center where you can log in. We've got some settings, quick settings in here. I'm screen recording right now. If you go in the back, you can do different things in display, connect Bluetooth, adjust even more of the width of how it's actually displaying the screens to have it even better. You can have the sky as Firefly or fireworks or constellation, um, depending how you and what you'd like in the back in there. Sound and haptic, developer modes, and all of these things. The spatial apps in here that you can enjoy as well, just like a cool little spatial experience. It's more like a VR rather than AR. So it supports multiple screen ratios, wide, ultra wide, 21 by nine and narrow, and you can move the windows around wherever and however you want. There's also a giant screen mode, which turns any window into a 300 inch virtual display floating eight meters away from you. It even supports 3D videos. And I have to say, watching a 300 inch 3D movie in AR is quite an experience. Not sure how many 3D movies are still out there and how many gets produced, but you get full compatibility with Android apps and the Google Play Store, plus DRM certified services like Netflix, YouTube, Disney+, Plus, HBO, Prime Video, Apple TV, and Hulu. And yes, Netflix works perfectly on this thing. They've also built a growing content ecosystem with about 35 special apps so far, including special games like Toy Monster, and they're expanding this rapidly. The Max 2 connects with smartphones, PCs, iPads, and game consoles. If you're a gamer, you can wirelessly stream your PC or console with Steam Link, Moonlight, or PS Remote Play, and enjoy your games on a giant virtual screens with 3D OF head tracking support. It's loaded with features like sports mode for on-the-go use, reading mode that automatically adjusts the screen distance for text, 3D and special video support for iPhone 15 Pro users, and you can even change it while you're using it. Now, when talking about the price, this guy is one fifth of the price of Apple Vision Pro. That puts it in perspective. And uh, when talking about best bang for buck, you're definitely gonna get a lot for this. And a little backstory about Rocket as a company has been around since 2014. They started mass producing consumer AR glasses in 2020, and this is already their third generation product. They showcased it at CES 2025 and picked up eight different best of CES awards from major tech outlets. So they're not just anybody's. Now here's the part where I give my honest opinion and what I think about these, because I've been trying to use them and as you can see, I've been using them quite a bit on this video. By the way, VR and AR, augmented reality, virtual reality. So this is supposed to kind of fit within your environment rather than take you to a whole other environment. Let me start by saying that when I first tried them on, I wasn't so impressed because I didn't try it with the Rocket Station 2, but I tried it with my MacBook. And when plugging it into there, it kind of works seamlessly. But in this studio environment where I am at, I noticed some issues. One of the biggest one for me was that the sides of the screen aren't exactly clear. I also couldn't exactly see the bottom of the screens so that when I tried to move my mouse onto the bottom, the frames were in the way and that was with the MacBook. Now, I'm not sure if that was because I should have adjusted it a little bit smaller or automatically it went bigger. When I just used them as an external screen, it couldn't exactly work like that. Now, when watching movies, for example, I don't see this being a problem because you don't focus on the edges and on the sides of the screen. But when you've got something like a text on or like a screen or when I'm trying to adjust something in the corners of the screen, I think that can be improved. And you can very easily see that when even plugging it in right now on the screen. And when you're focusing on the sides, you can see that the, the center, wherever I'm looking at, is very nice and clear. But then on the side of the edges, it becomes a bit blurry. Secondly, make sure that you adjust these to your eyes, even if I have a 20-20 vision and I don't really wear glasses. I've got some glasses for driving, but I don't really need them. They're just more like to help. But even with this here, I just I had to adjust them to get them perfectly in line. To get the best experience, make sure you adjust them. The USB cable that's included in my setup here, it's fine when you use it with a rocket station because it's long enough to just put it in your pocket or something like that. But if I want to connect this to my Mac which is just over there or any computer that I'm using, it's not long enough and it's a little bit awkward to use, but you can use your own cable if you wanted to. Now, one of the things that I was also concerned about is because you feel like the screen is very, very close to your face and you're thinking that, you know, I'm, I'm focusing very, very close. So 
I thought that I'm going to be like, just like cross-eyed when I'm using this, but actually it's not. You're actually focusing further away than your usual computer screen. So that's good news. So your eyes are actually more relaxed in terms of focusing because it's further away. But that's just what I figured out literally five minutes ago. You've got this see-through so you can kind of see outside and then what you can see on the actual screens. We're kind of in the middle in here where I feel like the outside view could be a little bit better because whenever I'm using them and I'm putting the glasses on, my outside view is very, very limited. Now, I would rather have them a little bit bigger on, on here so that I could actually use them as sunglasses. Why not? Because the screen is actually tinted here anyway. So I could literally walk around, have this, and if I wanted to, turn it on, turn it off, and that would be really, really cool. And I think a little bit of a better experience because right now they've tried to keep it less kind of intrusive to the face. And I can see why perhaps different races, this is kind of the best middle ground of making it look nice for your face. I personally would prefer bigger glasses so I could see outside better. I could see better view of the screen as well because field of view is not as wide as I would have hoped for. So when you put uh, virtual reality glasses on, they really kind of make it look like your eyes. But here right now, because you've got glasses on, the field of view is, is a lot sh shorter. It's almost like feels like you're watching something like that. I think this is the best representation, how it feels and what it looks like. Also, another very important thing to mention here is when you connect them not to the station, but to your Mac laptop phone, the screen kind of tracking goes off. You just use them as an external screen. So basically that means when you move your face, the screen moves with you. So it can be a little bit disorienting, just bear that in mind. But when you use it with a rocket station, it's a whole other story. In fact, that really changed my mind why I actually kind of want to make this video because it's a completely different experience when you're using the station too. But hey, I'm going to give credit when it's due. Rockets told me up front, you know, say what you genuinely think. We're here to improve. They want to know about this. I'm very impressed that a company can do that and not a lot of companies have courage like that to actually say that to a reviewer. And if you're curious to try the AR glasses that won't destroy your bank account, check out the link in the video description below. Use my discount code for an extra deal. And yeah, go check it out. That's it for this one. I'll see you in the next video. This is like Casey Neistat, but 2.0, because I'll tell you a little secret. I've had a script on these glasses all throughout this video. Or oh, this is like David Hasselhoff. And uh, I'll be checking my notes, talking to you about it, which is very interesting little thing that you can do with these glasses. Huh? Didn't expect that, did you? One extra tip for free for you is, if you want the best experience with this, turn the lights off in your surrounding. And whenever you're in a dark place, when you're in a bedroom or wherever, and perhaps if you've got a little baby, that's up at night and you want to watch something without waking baby or your wife up, then having something like this is a game changer.